Hi all. Today we will be discussing about the recurring payments in accounts. So, as you all know, recurring journal entries are those entries which are recorded periodically, like our phone bills, the electricity bills, rent, etc. So, uh, we have to post each journal entries each time whenever the payments are made. So, it will be a time-consuming task. So, this is where our module comes in picture. So, this module helps us to handle those type of payments by generating journal entries automatically based on your conditions. So we can create multiple type of recurring pay methods to handle multiple payments. So let's get into it. I have already installed a module in our database. So next coming to that, uh, we'll go to the invoicing. And under the configuration, we have an option for uh, recurring templates. So uh, we'll create a recurring payment now. So first I'll say, let's, uh, we are creating a recurring payment for electricity bills. So I'll say electric, we'll set a name for that. We, we have an option for adding the patent that is we either we can pay directly or pay later if we click on pay later we can add the partner to which we are paying so right now i'll set it as pay directly i'll uh, set the credit uh, account as electricity expense and the debit account let's say it will be bank the journal as miscellaneous operations and under the recurring period we can set it as a uh, day wise weekly monthly or an annually period so Electricity bill is monthly that is occurring at a period of two months interval and we can also set the start date as let's say this is a Set the start date Let's say the amount is uh, 5000 per month and Under the gen generate journal as we have two options that is posted or unposted So we can set it as posted uh, or unposted that is it will be in the draft state So right now it's in the unposted state And save this and in order to uh, to occur the payment, I mean, in order to say that the payment occur recurrently, we have to set the state to as a running state. Then only it will uh, occur recurrently. I'll create another one also. Let's say that is a office rent. Pay time is directly. Credit is a office rent. The debit account will be the bank. That is on monthly. Each month we will set and the start date is this and the rent is let's say 50,000 and post it. I have saved this and changed the state to running. So now coming under the customers or menu, we have an option as recurring entries. So if we click on that, we will get a wizard and under the wizard, uh, we can see that uh, from the starting date, there is already two uh, entries created so let's change the starting date to as the date which you created so on changing that we can see each of our electricity entries that is within a gap of one month is created and similarly the rent for each month is also uh, generated recurrently so if we click on the generate no uh, before that we can also edit we have an option to edit uh, the date and the name also the amount for each month also, we can uh, delete whether, I mean, if you don't want to pay the bill, we can also delete. I mean, if you don't want to make the payment, you can delete the entry from here also. So right now, I'll just uh, click on the generate entries. So we can see that the entries are being generated. Now coming under the accounting and general entries, we can see that uh, the rent <coughs> and the electricity bill for each month, I mean, uh, for the intervals we have provided is posted if i click on any of that we can see that this is in draft date and if you want to post it we can post and make the payment from here so that's all thank you